Who's Gypsy Rose and why does the public care so much? Gypsy Rose Blanchard has been a prisoner twice in her life, once as an inmate and before that at the hands of her mother. Gypsy grew up with her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard, making claims about her health that resulted in a series of diagnoses and medical interventions. Shockingly, Gypsy was not sick. Her mother had been lying to her and the world as well. But why did Dee Dee lie? Claudine Dee Dee Blanchard was born May 3, 1967 to Emma and Claude Petra. Dee Dee was always known to be a liar to her family. They even claimed she would steal from them when she didn't get her way. Not only did she steal from them, but her family also accused her of credit card fraud and writing bad checks. According to her father, she was a, quote, real weird girl. She had been into some dark things and it was no surprise she was into witchcraft. But the scariest part was the family claiming Dee Dee killed her own biological mother by starving her. Laura, Dee Dee's stepmother, said, quote, to leave her mama dirty and asking for food and not feed her, that's evil. The family later claimed that when preparing food for stepmother Laura, Dee Dee poisoned it with Roundup weed killer, leading to the stepmother's chronic illness during this period. Although many of these claims are hard to prove with little evidence, it would be no surprise given how she subjected her own daughter to horrible treatment later on in life. Dee Dee eventually moved away from her family and became a nurse aide. She met Rod Blanchard and the two of them got married. Rod claimed that Dee Dee lied about her age as he was only 17 and she was 23. Once they were expecting Gypsy, he believed marrying her was the right thing to do. However, they would soon get a divorce as Rod realized that things weren't going to work out between Dee Dee and him. I woke up on my birthday, on my 18th birthday, and realized I wasn't where I was supposed to be. I wasn't in love with her, really. I knew I got married for the wrong reasons. On July 27, 1991, Gypsy Rose Blanchard was born in Golden Meadow, Louisiana. Three months after her birth, Dee Dee claimed Gypsy had medical issues. Although doctors didn't see any issues with Gypsy's health, Dee Dee was adamant that Gypsy stopped breathing at night. Before long, Dee Dee started telling Rod about Gypsy's many health issues, which included sleep apnea and a chromosomal defect. At this time, the family didn't suspect anything. Gypsy's father would have no reason to doubt Dee Dee was lying about the health of their child. Dee Dee knew so much medical terminology from working as a nurse aide. Doctors were inclined to believe her. However, one doctor didn't. Bernardo Flasterstein became immediately suspicious of Dee Dee. He took tests on Gypsy and all the tests came back negative. He saw inconsistencies in Dee Dee's stories about Gypsy. Flasterstein talked to one of Gypsy's previous doctors and suspected that Dee Dee had Munchison by proxy, but never reported it to social services because he thought, no one would believe him. And thus, the nightmare for Gypsy was just starting. While living in Louisiana, Dee Dee Blanchard took Gypsy Rose to the hospital for what seemed like every medical issue. She even insisted that Gypsy had muscular dystrophy, even after tests showed otherwise. According to Gypsy's uncle, she was in a minor motorcycle accident when she was seven or eight that only caused a small abrasion, which Dee Dee saw as an illness. At this point, Gypsy had already been in a wheelchair since the age of five, but was using it almost exclusively. But the wheelchair seemed so small in comparison to what Dee Dee was forcing Gypsy to take. You see, Gypsy was forced to take seizure medication, even though she never had seizures. But not just this, Dee Dee claimed Gypsy has severe asthma and even leukemia. Gypsy was undergoing many unnecessary surgeries and taking even more unnecessary medication. To keep up with appearances, Dee Dee kept her daughter confined to a wheelchair, shaved her head, and made her wear almost comically large glasses. Dee Dee managed to avoid medical paperwork at hospitals by telling doctors that Hurricane Katrina, a 2005 storm that ravaged Louisiana, had destroyed Gypsy's medical records. This paved the way for Dee Dee and Gypsy to get a new home built by Habitat for Humanity. It's Mayberry. We're moving to Mayberry. <laughs> it didn't take a lot to convince Dee Dee and her daughter Gypsy Rose to make a new home in Aurora. They already knew it was meant to be. It is the perfect town, the perfect place. 
I think it was it was a blessing in disguise. It took something like a hurricane to make us have a happy ending. Dee Dee was happy enough just having medical care for Gypsy. She says she never expected this. It's amazing. It's amazing the outpouring of love and support. Dr. Janet Jordan met Dee Dee and Gypsy while on a mission trip to the hurricane ravaged areas. She says she knew right away she'd see them again. They're like lost souls who were meant to have been born and raised in a Dee Dee continued the abuse on her daughter as she was now receiving free flights to and from various medical facilities, free vacations, free tickets to concerts, and so much more. If doctors disagreed with her diagnosis of Gypsy, Dee Dee found other doctors. Gypsy says her mother wouldn't allow her to speak at doctor's appointments and even physically abused her by chaining her to the bed and hitting her with hangers. Dee Dee's claims about Gypsy's health became more bizarre. In one instance, Dee Dee claimed her daughter was afraid of food and therefore had to have a feeding tube inserted. Gypsy claims that one of the most painful surgeries she ever had, she didn't respond to the anesthesia very well. This was after the removal of two of her salivary glands in the back of her neck. Along with this, her teeth were pulled. Because her mom claimed Gypsy's teeth were decaying, she was left with only 16 teeth. It's because my saliva was very thick and so I'm always having to clear my throat. So it's been a negative side effect for me. And the reason why I had the surgery is because my mother had put aura gel on my gums to make me drool at the appointment and complained to the doctor that I drool too much. Dee Dee claimed that Gypsy was going to live to a certain age. And as Gypsy got older, Dee Dee added more years to her life, despite her initial claims. And your date of birth, Gypsy? It's 727. 1995. I'm here they have, um, okay, I need one because, um, let me make a long story back. Okay, sure. Um, me and my mother are Hurricane Katrina survivors. Okay. And, um, my birth certificate was washed away in Katrina. Okay. And, um, unfortunately, uh, they messed up a long time when they messed up the paperwork and it said 1991, but it's actually 95. Gypsy was approximately four years older than her mom claimed and Gypsy had no idea. To add to this, Gypsy claimed her mother made her wear diapers when she was on her period instead of teaching her to use menstrual products. She explained that it was actually her inmates that taught her basic skills, tampons and bras and such. In 2015, Gypsy Rose met a man at a convention and ran away with him. Dee Dee was able to track them down and convince the man that Gypsy was a minor when she was in fact 23. Gypsy claims Dee Dee smashed her computer and physically restrained her to her bed when they returned home. Gypsy eventually managed to get back online. She joined a Christian dating site where she met Nicholas Godijan. She told him the truth about her mother's actions and ended up asking him to kill Dee Dee so they could be together. In 2015, he came to her house and stabbed Dee Dee while Gypsy waited, ears covered in the washroom. Gypsy and Godijan returned to his home in Wisconsin where they were found by police. Gypsy posted twice on the Facebook account she shared with her mother. She wrote, that bitch is dead. She later explained she made the posts because she wanted her mother's body to be discovered. You need to be honest with me. And, and if you're involved in anything that I'm about ready to tell you, then you need to tell me, okay? Um, your mom's dead, okay? Now, what I want to ask you Wait, well, is, what, what, what? Your, your, mom's, your mom's passed away, okay? And she's deceased, all right? Now, what I want to ask you, did you have involvement in this? Okay. Just, no. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, listen to me for just a second, okay? I want you to understand something, okay? Remember the snowball that we talked about? Many people wonder why Gypsy didn't just get help, but she was conditioned to believe no one would help her. I couldn't just jump out of the wheelchair because I was afraid, and I didn't know what my mother would do. I didn't have anyone to trust. Your mother controlled so much. Many people just can't understand why you didn't just get up and walk out of that wheelchair. You weren't sick. It's mental, it's emotional, it's physical. All these reasons combined together is what prevented me from just walking out of that situation. Give us a sense of the fear that you felt. I feared more than anything that if I ran away, that things would be worse for me at home. After Gypsy was taken into custody, the web of lies that Dee Dee maintained for years began to unravel. Investigators discovered that she was completely healthy and did not have any of the conditions that Dee Dee claimed she did. She could walk and she didn't need a feeding tube. 
Even her own father was shocked by the revelations. Quote, I still did not want to believe she could walk when she came on the news. In fact, I rewound it and played it multiple times. On February 2016, Nicholas Godijan was sentenced to life in prison for first-degree murder. Gypsy Rose Blanchard pleaded guilty to second-degree murder in 2016 and was sentenced to 10 years. During Godijan's trial, Gypsy testified for the defense, saying she was the mastermind behind the murder and taking the blame for her mother's death. Although this wasn't the freedom that Gypsy was looking for, it seems like prison wasn't so hard on her. When comparing her life in prison, Gypsy said, in some ways they're the same, but now I'm so much more freer. I couldn't walk, I couldn't eat, I couldn't have friends. I feel like I'm freer in prison than living with my mom. I can live like a normal woman. How did prison change you? Um, prison, prison actually was actually very um, helpful for me. Um, I, I always say that if I didn't go to prison, I don't think that I would have acclimated to the outside world as easily as I have now. Um, That's it, interesting. Yeah, it gave, so your it, life was less the world than prison. You said it, you were exactly. more free in prison. Yes, the freest yes, you'd I ever was, felt was yes. the first day you were in prison, wow. which mm -hmm. tells you a little bit about the mindset. Gypsy Rose Blanchard was released from prison on parole December 28, 2023, after serving eight years for the 2018 murder of her mother. She's married to Ryan Anderson. The two tied the knot in 2022. Gypsy seems to be super busy since her release, appearing on talk shows, releasing documentaries and an ebook, and even reaching out to her fans on social media. However, there are many people on social media criticizing her relationship, with one commenter saying, She had no business marrying this person. She should have waited at least a year after being out and living with him. I worry she's just so desperate to be loved and not alone that she'll accept any partner no matter how unfitting they are for her. So much for her freedom. With people even pointing out the similarities between Ryan and Dee Dee. Her hubby looks like her mom. How about we let those who deserve to be free out? Oh wait, we can't talk about that. However, she had plenty of chances to get help. Of course, Gypsy clapped back at her haters. You guys, I'm here with Gypsy Rose herself, the celeb of the moment. So I know you have so many followers, so much love on social media. But what I want to know is, what do you have to say to the haters? Um, well, you know, can't bring me down. I'm on a high right now. I'm living my best life, and y'all can't take that from me. And the D is... Perhaps this was the moment supporters became haters, so what changed? For one, they're unhappy with her celebrity-like status even though they originally accepted it and cheered her on. It looks like Gypsy wasn't performing the way the public wanted her to. This is often seen with the rise of social media stars. Gypsy should be free to tell her story. She did her time. However, there's another issue here. Nick fans are upset with Gypsy as well. A lot of people feel Gypsy should have received the same sentence as Nick or that he too should be freed. Although this decision is not up to Gypsy, many people are criticizing her lack of acknowledgement of Nick, his mental health and the crime he committed for her. But Gypsy has spoken about Nick many times. Thank you for watching. It would mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel. I don't, I don't associate myself as a murderer because if you think about it, yes, I had a part to play in it. I requested, I asked Nick for help. And how that all conversation started was, you know, he was saying that he would protect me from anyone. I said, anyone. He said, yes. I said, even my mother. He said, yes. And then the, the plan kind of formed from there. But he's the one that did the actual kill, not me. I can't kill anyone. That's why he's in trouble to begin with, because he's the one that did it. So when they say I'm a murderer, I don't identify as that. I'm, I'm, I'm an accessory. Absolutely. I'll take.